Welcome back. We are working on our scaling up a grid drawing. For this assignment, I have one of the image options. There's quite a few to pick from. I went through and found the one that appealed to me, which was these peppers. And then I have my 12 by 12 drawing paper. So we are essentially going to use a grid to scale up the smaller image onto this larger paper. Luckily, these images are already gridded, so we don't need to grid our original. We do, however, need to grid our paper. Um, first thing I'll do is fold this over so I'm not distracted by the other image and I can focus on the one that I want to do. Now, if I look at this, I see that there are four boxes by four boxes. So I need to divide this paper into four boxes by four boxes. Luckily, this is only 12 inches, which divides easily by four. 12 divided by th four is gonna be three. So I'm gonna make a mark at the three the six and the nine and then the edge is the 12. Let's do the same thing all the way around. Oops. Line it up so the edge of the ruler and the 12 are on the edges of your paper. Make a mark at the three, the six, the nine. So three marks on each side. Here we go. Three, six, Nine. And finally, the last side, three, six, nine. Now I can use my ruler to connect those lines. Okay, what I should have mentioned before I was drawing is that I don't want these to be really dark and I don't want to like engrave my lines. I actually want these to be really light. I don't want them to distract from the image. So I'm going to take a moment with my kneaded eraser and I'm just going to lighten these lines before I go in and start drawing. Here I go. Okay, as light as you can go and still see them. I can see them pretty well. They may not show up very well on the video, but I can still see them enough to do the grid drawing, um, but I don't want them to distract from my image. All right, then just like we did before with the practice, I'm going to go shape by shape or square by square and look for those basic shapes. So I'll start in the top left hand corner and I like to look at where things cross the line. Like that little circle is a or a half circle, quarter circle is a little bit past halfway. So I'm just going to make a little mark there and then it ends right about halfway between the top and the bottom of that square. And then I'm gonna pay attention to the shape. If I was climbing this hill, it would be steep, 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 and then it would level off. So then I'll lightly do that shape. Okay, now I'm gonna pay attention to this behind. It comes up on this top edge, just a tiny bit in, and it kind of tucks behind this shape, and then it's just a gradual curve. Notice I'm doing like a very loose um, monster grip. Now this thing almost goes all the way to the edge, but not quite. And it's about three quarters of the way up. So I'll make a mark there. And then the top of it crosses about a quarter of the way down there. And it's just a little rainbow arc. So a little rainbow arc. And then this is at about halfway where it crosses, the bottom of it crosses, and then it comes up pretty close, like it gets more narrow. And this is another rainbow arc, so I'll make that other rainbow arc. All right, that is a good start to that top corner. I'm going to speed this up for a little bit while I play around with drawing the rest of it. Um, I'm not doing my best work because it's hard to get in the zone during a video, but you can kind of see the process. So join me for a moment as I fill in my grid drawing.
Okay, so that's a good start for now. Um, some of them are a little bit hard to see. They don't have a really sharp art outline, art line, uh, let's say outline. Um, but I can show that with the color. So this is going to show up when I start to add the color. Um, you might notice that there's these weird dips and curves, right? Like I estimated a curve and then I estimated a curve and now it's got a weird dip. So you might take a moment to just smooth things out. Not all of them are gonna have little indentations or like stutters or stops where it hits the line. So smooth things out so you like it. And then before you go to add color, really get in there and erase these grids as much as you can. You might still see a trace of them and you can still get a sense of where they are if that helps you with color. But now that you've got um, the outline of your shapes, it should be a lot easier to get the color on there accurately. Okay, so get your whole picture gridded out, drawn out, and then it's time for color. Woohoo! Be sure to look at the online image for your color. You'll notice that this is black and white because your printer is black and white. Um, there's a small chance you will get a color version. If not, um, look at the image on the computer or you can do them black and white just do a full range of value so either do a ton of color or if i wanted to do this as a pencil drawing i would just need to make sure that i had deep deep darks and light light lights you don't want it to just be gray so a full range of color or a full range of value okay have a good time and i'll see you on the other side